Hello Artmia members, please find the info regarding renewal of H-1B non-immigrant visas in the United States for certain qualified non-citizens. Agenda of this video 1. Summary of H-1B renewal in USA 2. Dates, slots 3. Eligibility 4. No eligibility 5. Online application 6. Application processing 7. Required documents 8. Visa and documentation return 9. Out of scope case returns 10. Visa refusals Pilot program to resume renewal 1 H-1B CAP 2024 approvals and third lottery of H-1B non-immigrant visas in the United States for certain qualified non-citizens. The Department of State, the Department, is announcing a pilot program to resume domestic visa renewal for qualified H-1B non-immigrant visa applicants who meet certain requirements. This notice describes the requirements for participation in the pilot and provides information on how those falling within the bounds of the pilot program may apply for domestic visa renewal. The department will begin accepting online applications from January 29, 2024 via travel.state.gov website shown in the video to control the number of applications received. The department will, each week, release approximately 2,000 application slots for applicants whose most recent H-1B visas were issued by Mission Canada, and approximately 2,000 application slots for those whose most recent H-1B visas were issued by Mission India, approximately 4,000 total each week, on the following dates, January 29, 2024, the 2nd of May 2024, the 2nd of December 2024, February 19, 2024, February 26, 2024, Every application received will be counted against an approximate 2,000 maximum weekly limit for each participating mission. Once the limit is reached, the online portal will be locked until the next tranche of slots are released for each participating mission group on the next application date. Applicants who are unable to apply on one application date may attempt to apply on any of the remaining application dates during the entry period. The application period for the pilot will close when all application slots are filled or on April 1, 2024, whichever comes first. Eligibility 1. Are seeking to renew an H-1B visa. During the pilot phase, the department will not process any other visa classifications. 2. Prior H-1B visa that is being renewed was issued by Mission Canada with an issuance date from January 1, 2020, through April 1, 2023 or by Mission India with an issuance date of February 1, 2021, through September 30, 2021, 3. Are not subject to a non-immigrant visa issuance fee, note, this is commonly referred to as a reciprocity fee, 4. Are eligible for a waiver of the in-person interview requirement, 5. Have submitted 10 fingerprints to the department in connection with a previous visa application, 6. Prior visa does not include a clearance received, annotation, 7. Do not have a visa ineligibility that would require a waiver prior to visa issuance, 8. Have an approved and unexpired H-1B petition, 9. Were most recently admitted to the United States in H-1B status, 10. Are currently maintaining H-1B status in the United States, 11. Period of authorized admission in H-1B status has not expired, and 12. Intend to re-enter the United States in H-1B status after a temporary period abroad. Further who is not eligible? If any candidate had faced admin process previously and candidate will have a notation on visa stamp, so these cases are not eligible. H-4 candidates are not eligible. Completing the online application for the pilot. To complete an application, applicants must navigate to the dedicated domestic visa renewal website available at https colon slash slash travel dot state dot gov slash content slash travel slash n slash us dash visas slash employment slash domestic dash renewal dot html. Applicants select their prior H-1B country, Canada or India. A tool helps assess pilot eligibility, responses not stored. Qualified applicants complete Form DS-160 and pay a non-refundable fee. They'll then receive instructions on passport mailing and document submission. The tool isn't perfect, so applications may be returned unprocessed or refused. Fee is non-refundable.
Application Processing Applications processed in order received, no status updates provided except for return, issuance, or refusal. Check status at https colon slash slash ceac.state.gov slash seekstat tracker slash status dot aspx question mark app equals nib. After online DS-160 in fee, mail passport and documents. Sorting process. Those not meeting pilot requirements returned unadjudicated, fee retained. Processing time. 6 to 8 weeks. Completion by May 1st, 2024. No expedited processing. Urgent travel. Apply overseas or withdraw application. Fee not refunded. No prejudice to future applications. Domestic issuance not guaranteed. Refusals under 221G require new application and fee at a U.S. consulate, embassy abroad. Required documents. To renew your H-1B visa in the U.S. pilot program, submit the below documents. Completed online DS-160 form. Recent photo, specs can be found here. HTTPS colon slash slash travel dot state dot gov slash content slash travel slash n slash passports slash how dash apply slash photos dot html closing parenthesis passport valid six plus months beyond application date and with blank visa page. Original, copy of current I-797, notice of action, an I-94, HTTPS colon slash slash I-94 dot CBP dot DHS dot gov slash I-94 slash hash slash home closing parenthesis pay $205 non-refundable MRV fee online, major debit, credit card accepted, sent passport and docs per instructions provided after completing DS-160 and paying MRV fee. Visa and documentation return. Issued visas, passports, and other documents submitted by the applicant will be returned via U.S. Postal Service or a commercial courier. It is important to note that issuance of a visa in the United States is not a grant of non-immigrant status, does not constitute an extension of current non-immigrant status, and does not constitute an admission to the United States. The visa only permits the applicant to seek entry at a U.S. port of entry after overseas travel and is not a guarantee of admission. Any foreign national seeking to extend or maintain their status while in the United States should contact U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, per usual practice. Out-of-scope case returns. The department will return the following out-of-scope cases without an adjudication and without a refund of the MRV fee. Any application that seeks to renew a visa other than an H-1B visa. Any application where the prior H-1B visa was not issued by Mission Canada with an issuance date of January 1, 2020, through April 1, 2023, or by Mission India with an issuance date of February 1, 2021, through September 30, 2021. Any application which is subject to a non-immigrant visa issuance fee, reciprocity fee. An applicant may research reciprocity fees by country and visa class here. U.S. Visa. Reciprocity and civil documents by country, state.gov. Any application where the prior visa includes a clearance received annotation. Visa refusals, 221 grams. Under the pilot program, visa applications can get rejected, 221 grams. For not meeting eligibility for interview waiver. 222H, or renewal requirements. Missing required documents by April 15, 2024, fixable with no extra fee. Examples. Wrong form, bad photo, proof of U.S. residency. Pilot ends May 1, 2024, so missing document fixes are only possible till April 15. Note. This summary omits details about transferred applications and fee refunds. If you have any questions, Please post in the Atmia Immigration Group. Request you all to join Atmia by taking membership from www.atmiausa.org slash join. Immigration team is coming up with useful sessions related to H-1B CAP 2025 and Atmia employers presentation for our members who want to apply for H-1B this year.